<clears throat> okay, here we go. This one is for you, Gemini. This is Terra Lumination, and we are providing a Jupiter in Sagittarius micro report for you guys. It just started 2018, end of it, and it's going most of the way through 2019. It is basically a one-year journey. Uh, we'll come to that in a minute. Think of Jupiter. Uh, it's legendary. It's the great benefic. It expands everything it touches. It brings uh, benefits, luck, opportunity, health, healing, uh, excitement, adventure, and the quest for all of that expansion and increasing uh, happiness and knowing more, having greater connection with the great beyond, figuring out how to do it, ascending. You know, if you want to look at it that way too, you can. Now I'll put Jupiter, all that energy of amazing Jupiter energy, into the sign of Sagittarius, its own sign. So it's like amplified. So imagine all that energy all squashed into one place right now. It's just started. And that's why we were talking earlier on reports about how this is kind of a big, big change for the whole planet, for all of us. And I wanted to kind of celebrate it here. I know you can go to other you know, books and services for all of this stuff. I'm just giving you a little micro report from Terra Illumination so that we have this as a reference for all of you guys who like to watch the channel. And so you understand this energy from the Terra Illumination perspective in case we talk about it again or work with it again in personal readings or, uh, you know, uh, healing events or live stream, whatever it is we do, you know. Because this is going to be a theme going throughout the whole year. Now, to about the journey itself, because Jupiter is in its own place, my feeling here is it's like this is a really good time to celebrate right now, right here uh, around the, because we're making these reports around the time of the Sagittarius new moon. And so this is kind of like a land or calendar moment for the whole year, time to celebrate. And I wanted to illustrate this with a Terra Illumination Astro Doodle. You probably anticipated this. So think of this little blob here as Jupiter, okay? And it's on its 12-year journey around the solar system, casting all its benefits wherever it goes. And eventually it will land over here for you, Cancer, right there. But that's a long ways from now. Anyway, here we are where we are today. This is Jupiter. Now let's switch to this close up. This is now Jupiter here in Sagittarius, and it's beginning its one year journey. So, this is um, Terra Illumination depiction of the 12 year journey, and this is the Terra Illumination depiction of the one year journey, like it is for each sign right here. So, it's going to take a year to transit through uh, Sagittarius, okay? Then it goes into Capricorn, but that's another story. So, let's get back to you, Gemini. What does this all mean for you? Well, you've probably sort of half figured it out already because Sagittarius is your so-called, in Western astrology, your opposite. So all of that energy that we talked about, the, the benefics of Jupiter, is all applying to your seventh house, okay? This is where Sagittarius lies for Geminis. This is the Gemini and this is the Sagittarius. Actually, I'll show you on this, okay? so. There's Sagittarius, there's Gemini. So let's put this on the horizon. Let's put you on the horizon here, like so. And then, you know, so you're the star of the video. And then you look over here, that's your seventh house. Open enemies, marriage, major one-on-one -on -one relationships. So now apply the energy we've just been talking about. Here's the Terra Illumination interpretation. Think of all the benefits. Let's just focus on the positive stuff, okay? Expansion of everything it touches and goodness and benefits and healing and joy and abundance, okay? So uh, allow for and picture and seek new vistas, new opportunities, new perspectives in primary one-on-one -on -one relationships, okay? Allow for that. Uh, even if it means well, let's keep going. Allow for deep healing in relationships. Allow for good fortune. Allow for abundance. Allow for opportunity. Allow for new journeys. Allow for foreign people, foreign places, foreign travel uh, regarding uh, this significant one-on-one -on -one relationship. This could be business. Maybe your whole business world is expanding seriously uh, in terms of much bigger, broader horizons, greater abundance. Uh, with the people, the places, 
and perhaps even in just one-on-one -on -one relationships, like with a spouse or a, you know, a very significant uh, one another. So please allow for all that good stuff to happen, okay? And uh, for you, Gemini, also, it would mean that this would be a very strong motivation for you to seek all this out because it's there for you. It's just, you know, you got to grab the opportunity, all right? It's very much about the energy of good opportunity here, okay? So, you know, I don't want to focus on the shadow side of this. So like people are going to say, oh, it expands everything it touches. Well, what about all the bad stuff? Oh, but does that make it worse? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Well, if you want to think that way, you can. But remember, energy flows where attention goes. So if you want to pour all your opportunities and energy into, uh, let's say, negative space, black hole, then sure, you know, but you're not helping yourself. The whole idea is to take advantage of this. OK, so. All right. Thanks, Gemini. I don't want to. Uh, say anything more about it. We're, we're going to live all through this stuff together anyway. Thank you so much, Gemini. I hope you get something out of here. Okay, bye-bye. And also watch for your sun, moon, and rising. The same thing that we do on the other reports applies here too. All right? Thank you so, so much. All the best. Bye-bye. See you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye. Well, -bye. become a member. Become a member. I'll go and subscribe. You know, subscribe, become a member, and uh, come to the healing events. And see you on Sunday Night Live. Bye. Bye.